Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to day two of Emerge Workplace. I'm Matt Ball, Vice President and Workplace Market Lead at the Financial Health Network. For those of you who joined us yesterday, we're happy to have you back. For those who are joining us for the first time, thank you for joining. Yesterday, we dove deeply into the question of what works to improve financial health. We heard from HR leaders as well as market innovators who are positively impacting the financial health of their workforces and consumers, particularly those who are the most financially vulnerable. Today, we shift gears slightly and are really going to focus on how the future of work is shaping the future of workplace financial health. We're going to tackle questions such as what are the skills that are shaping the future of work and how are those impacting workplace financial health programs? How can HR departments cultivate an environment of innovation? How can DEI efforts, diversity, equity, and inclusion integrate more fully with benefit design and workplace financial health programs to create more equitable outcomes, particularly for those populations that are falling behind? And how can small businesses drive positive change and deliver financial health solutions? We'll dive into this shortly, but first I'd like to send a special message of thanks to our sponsors and supporters of Emerge Workplace. Thank you to our foundation sponsors, JP Morgan Chase and Prudential Financial, our gold sponsors, BlackRock and PayPal, our silver sponsor, MetLife Foundation, and our bronze sponsor, Morgan Stanley at Work. We sincerely appreciate that this event would not have been possible without your efforts. A few quick housekeeping items about the platform today. By now, you've all been on a number of Zoom meetings and other platforms, so some of this may be routine, but we have included a Q&A and polling function on the right of the Emerge Workplace page. We encourage you to share your thoughts and questions throughout the day. Our sessions are short and action-packed with insights. We want you to continue to ask questions during the sessions and understand that we'll get to as many of those as we can at our interactive roundtable session at the end of the day. If you scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll find content related to the topics we'll be covering in today's sessions. If you have any technical questions or issues throughout the day, please click on the chat bubble on the bottom right of your screen. Closed captioning is available. Please see the link below the streaming window to access this feature. And finally, please let us know what you think. Your feedback matters. Email us at emerge at finhealthnetwork.org. The link is in the chat box if you didn't catch that. We welcome your feedback and we help to continue to deliver a great experience. All right, let's dive into day two. We're going to kick things off with Chief Talent and Capability Officer at Prudential Financial, Vicki Wallier. Vicki will share her perspective on the workplace of the future, including the new skill sets and economies that will shape the value exchange between employers and employees, as well as implications for the future of workplace financial health. Thank you. 